Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create a file with date from SQL Server table and then send as attachment uh, in the email in SSIS package. So what we will be learning, we will learn how to create the parameters in SSIS package. Uh, why I create the parameter? Because we can use them in configuration and we can change the value by using configuration in different environments such as UAT, Prod or QA. Next, uh, we will learn how to use the data flow task and uh, create this file from the SQL Server source and uh, write to the flat file destination. Third, uh, we will uh, write some expressions uh, on flat file connection manager or maybe we will use a variable and then use that variable in the uh, flat file connection manager. The last point, uh, we will uh, learn how to use send mail task and uh, uh, make use of that file uh, that we created uh, earlier in the data flow task. So let's go and uh, start a demo. So once you are in the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools uh, or uh, you are in the bids, uh, you can right click on the SSIS packages uh, and uh, create new SSIS package. Let's rename this package. So we are going to say send file attachment okay now let's go to the SQL server and take a look here I have a customer table that is in the sales database it has only two records so it doesn't matter your uh, table can have thousands of record as long as uh, the uh, send mail uh, task or uh, your uh, SMTP server has uh, some limitation so maybe you, there is limitation set on SMTP server you cannot send more than 25 MB attached file so if uh, that, that's, the, that's the case you will not be able to send it but as long as uh, your file is uh, okay in the size uh, by the SMTP server limitation you can go ahead and create and send those files now let me go to the folder here so I have a folder called output folder we are going, going to create a file here called customer underscore today's date and then we will be sending that file by using send mail task now let me go back to the SSDT I'm going to create some parameters you can create the variables if you are using package deployment or you are using the old version of SSIS so here we will be creating a output folder this is going to be string and uh, let's get the value and put it here all right now what we have to create another parameter that I want to create uh, uh, email from and uh, I'm going to save my email address here but this value can be changed so uh, that's why I'm creating a parameter and this value can be changed by using SSIS uh, configuration so I'm going to use uh, Amir SQL age at gmail.com that's my email and then uh, I want to send email so I'm going to write that email to this can be single user if you have multiple users you can go ahead and just uh, I, I will let you know how to put it so tech brothers sql age at gmail.com and you can put uh, the terminator whatever you call the or you know I don't know semicolon or whatever it, this symbol is you can go ahead and put that and then add a new email address so that's how you will be keep adding the emails so go ahead and put another um, terminator and then uh, use the next email now we are using two email addresses there is a possibility tomorrow we will have another person we want to add so we can use the configuration and pass the email addresses to the parameter here next uh, we uh, we are all good it seems like we have output uh, folder we have a uh, email from and email to now let's go to the control flow and create a file so we have data flow task here let me make it a little large so you can see it is data flow task open the data flow task inside the data flow task we will be using source as we are reading the data from the SQL server table so let's bring the OLEDB source and now we have to make a connection to the SQL server and here you can go ahead and create a new connection hit new if I'm not sure the, I don't want to drop down here 
because uh, I have a lot of servers and I don't want to take time here so I can use uh, uh, select at the rate rate server name and that's gonna return me my server name now I take the server name here put the server name next part we will select in the database there is a lot of databases we can um, just write the first character so it is sales and then you will see it is uh, IntelliSense uh, is working so it is bringing that database here we are all good test the connection and now we are all good hit ok hit ok and uh, we will be reading the data so I always recommend writing SQL query so we will be saying select ID comma name from DBO customer why I write queries because the tomorrow your table can change the structure or maybe new column will be added if you have asterisk your package is going to fail so don't use asterisk uh, so we have ID and name all good next part we will be creating this file so we need uh, the only uh, flat file destination let me make it a little big I somehow oh sorry this is too big so let me bring connect your source to destination and now we will be creating a new connection so it is a uh, delimited uh, or you can fix with whatever you want you can have it and in my case it is a uh, delimited comma delimited so if uh, the file does exist already I want to overwrite that file so browser in the browser you will be selecting the folder and uh, my folder is on desktop I call it output folder and I'm going to call this one ABC file so if you ask me why I'm calling this ABC file because I don't care this is going I'm going to build the uh, expression for the name and the data so right now you can give any name open and then you have okay first uh, uh, row should have the columns in that so I am checking this box go to columns uh, we see the ID and name fine go to advanced all uh, everything looks good if you want to change the names here you can go ahead and change it but in my case I'm all good so overwrite the f data in the file if it does exist already we want to do it and now we are all set we can go ahead and create this uh, file if I will create this file uh, now what is going to happen it is going to create a file with the ABC name right because that's what we have given so we have to go ahead and change a right expression to the uh, to the file name with what we want we want to have a file name with data so I'm gonna go ahead create a new variable right click here create a variable and in the variable let me bring it here I'm using VPN that's why my computer is a little slow because I didn't have set up uh, SMTP and uh, I wanted to use SMTP and uh, that's the reason um, I'm using the VPN and it's kind of a little slow so here we have a file let me say file full path and I'm going to create a or build uh, by using uh, the expressions here so I'm go going to use uh, the output path that's our output folder and then uh, I'm going to add the name so here you will put plus sign and then write the name customer that's what I want and uh, then I want underscore and then I want the date added to it so I'm going to use uh, the get date function here so add the plus sign then say get date get date is going to return me date and time but I'm interested to get only the date if I do evaluate expression it is going to throw error because this is a string and get date is the date time so we have to convert that so I'm going to use DT underscore W S T R comma 30 so now we have casted or converted the date time to the string by using dt underscore wstr and 30 is the width so we are good evaluate expression you can see that we have a date time added to it but I'm interested to have only the date part so I'm going to get the first 10 characters from here so I'm going to use substring and here I will say 1 starting with the 1 and comma 10 let me make it big maybe that will help to see in a way so it's good 
now we have uh, these hyphens I don't want these hyphens so I want to replace these hyphen with the let's uh, replace with with them with nothing so we just have them as it is comma then you have double quotes hyphen double quotes comma and then you have double quotes double quotes without anything so we are not putting space or anything we are just removing the hyphens and at the end we want to add plus double quotes dot txt so that's the extension of the file we want so this is a complete path for our file so now we hit ok we are all good here our variable is ready I can go and uh, I'm trying to dock here somewhere so we <laughs> let's see sorry really bad here with the, this VPN thing okay give me a second I, I, I wanna put it here so now we are good so we have the connection managers here we have the variables here next part uh, we want to go to the flat file connection manager and go to properties and use this uh, variable so if you go here and then uh, let me close this part and now we take the properties again let me make it a little big now in the properties uh, what we see here we need to go to expressions and in the expressions uh, we'll be going to the go to expressions and then we'll be going to the connection string so here go to properties connection string use the expression part and here we will be using our file full path variable so that we have generated this as complete path and the data added to the file name so hit ok we are all good now if I go ahead and run this package this is going to create a file with the data so it will be customer underscore date today today's data the last part is left we need to send this file as attachment so I'm going to use this one so we will use send mail task here open the send mail task and then go to mail and here we will be first configuring SMTP connection manager so we'll go ahead and we can change the name if we want I'm gonna call this one SMTP just SMTP and here we'll be providing the SMTP server name so I have TBS client so that's what my name is if whatever is yours you provide that one use Windows authentication hit OK now we will be using expressions so if you see here instead of writing in the from and to we will be using those parameters and in the subject as well and I'm going to build that go to expressions here in the expressions go to properties and find from so let's see where we have from let's see let's see let's click here and uh, see if the intelligence works yes so we have if I press F it is going down and uh, it say from line so I can use that one and here go uh, click uh, on the expressions the expressions are here you will be using email from so I'm using the parameter if you have the variable just use the variable so fine and next part uh, click uh, here and uh, then we will be using two line so click two line and here we will be providing the value from the package parameter email to hit ok next uh, what could be we have uh, the package uh, sorry email subject so let me select the subject here so I press S and by doing it I can get to the subject and here I can write the subject or I can use some uh, system variables or uh, user variables here so let's say I want to send uh, this email say okay package I would like to say whatever the name of the package so go to the system variables and here I will take the package name let me take the package name from the system variables so we'll take send package and uh, this is going to return us a send file attachment package so we can write something like that plus uh, we sp give us some space and say double quotes package and say is completed and that's that's uh, the subject we can give some space here to make it a little better and uh, we can make it see capital whatever you want in so subject uh, we use the the system uh, variable here 
next uh, we we can go ahead and write uh, the uh, message source so we want to write the body so it is called message source so i'm going to tell uh, put the double quotes uh, and say hi team and then uh, enter and say please find attached file for the customer and then uh, you want to hit enter and say thank you and uh, uh, we can say SSIS team or Tech Brothers team whatever you want so now we are all good here you can take a look here so this is the material or, or the body that you have written here you can use variable and uh, I will be having another demo where we will uh, create a summary report uh, from the by using the variable such as inserted record uh, updated record deleted records uh, so hit okay and that's pretty much it uh, now the last part which is left uh, is uh, attaching a file so attach a file so let's see we have we have to find attach here do you s give me a second here file attachments uh, so now in the file attachments uh, we will be providing uh, the full path and that we know that file full path is in this variable so we will provide this variable hit ok and we are all good so now if we go ahead and in the mail we don't see whole lot information here but uh, this is all good now let's uh, say now, okay the file does not exist yes it does not exist as of now but it will exist so I'm gonna do one thing I'm gonna go to properties and say delay validation on so if I find that delay validation is true so I, I don't want the send mail test to check the file in the starting because file does not exist so when it will come here yes you can go ahead and check the file file will be created by data flow and then you can send it so delay validation property is going to help send mail test not to validate those fi uh, file exist or file does not exist so we are all good here save the package and now let's run the package package ran successfully let's check the data flow task and we can see that two rows are um, extracted from SQL server table and written to the flat file destinations now in send mail task is also showing us uh, okay all green till we don't check the email we can't really tell okay this completed or not but I'm hopeful it uh, has completed so let me go to the email and here we see that so it came from Amir SQL that was our e email to and then we have uh, the subject uh, and in the subject you guys can see that uh, send file attachment package is completed that's what we build uh, remember and the next uh, we we said hi team please find attached file for the customer and say thank you and here you can see the file itself so it is customer underscore 2015 06 25th and this is text so if I open this file it has ID and name so you can see that two records are extracted from the table and they're written to the file and we got in the email and uh, that's how uh, send mail uh, task work so it is uh, not that fancy fancy thing but we are not writing a, a love letter to, to our girlfriend like it has to has picture and all those kind of thing uh, but uh, it can give uh, or provide or send enough information to our clients uh, so they can uh, um, use uh, that information so thanks very much for watching this video and let me come to the next video with new scenario